Hello. Hello. Clinic po. Hello, Christian. Yes. I wait. Okay na po, ma'am. Pwede na po mag-start. Yes, pwede na pong start. Good morning. I am Crystal Vistal. Um, I'm the leader of... I, I'm the reporter of this. Scope, scope of directing and leading. Nature and scope of directing and management. The nature and scope of of directing and management and is concerned with employee orientation, issue and instruction, supervision, motivation, communication, and leadership. Employee orientation. An employee must be properly oriented to the enterprise in which they are working this orientation is necessary for them to accomplish the objectives of the enterprise. Employee orientation, ito daw po yung paraan para ipakilalang isang empleyado, ang baguhang empleyado sa kanilang pagtatrabahuan or workplace upang sila masanay at magawa ang kanilang layunin. Instructions. An instruction is an order or command by a senior directing a subordinate to act or refrain from acting under a given situation. The right to issue order should be with the superior by virtue of his position. Instruction. Ito daw po yung utos na binibigay ng senior sa kanyang subordinate. Itong pag-uutos na ito, ginagawa lamang ng senior kasi pangit naman po siguro kung yung baguhan na empleyado yung mag-uutos sa senior, di po ba? Okay, next. Yes. Supervision. In order to see that the work is done according to the instructions, the superior must observe the activities of the subordinate. Supervision is done at all levels of management. However, supervision in, is more important at lower levels. Supervision, pangangasiwa o pagbabantay ay paraan para malaman ng superior kung yung task ay nagagawa ng maayos ng subordinates niya. Ito daw pong pamamaraan na ito ay ginagamit sa lahat ng level. Pero mas kinakailangan siya gawin sa mga mababang antas. Motivation. One of the most challenging problems for management is to motivate people. Management has to induce the employee to utilize his talent and skill to contribute the organizational goal. Motivation, 
Ito daw po yung isa sa pinaka-importanting elemento. Isa din siya sa pinaka-mahirap gawin. Hindi mo mamamotivate ang isang tao o grupo kung lagi mo lang silang uutusan. Ang pagmamotivate ng isang tao o grupo ay kinakailangan ma-inspire sila, mapalabas, madagdagan nila natin yung willingness nila para magamit nila yung skills or kakayahan na meron sila para ma-achieve yung goal. Motivation has two sides. It could be positive or negative way. May mga paraan kung papaano mag-motivate ng tao. Minsan ginagamitan ito through verbal. Like good communication with employees, appreciation with their work. May mga iba naman na motivate sila pag may incentives. Like financial. May bonus or raise of salary. Meron namang na motivate in a negative way. May na motivate pag napapagalitan sila ng senior nila. Saka lang nila na-realize yung mga dapat nilang gawin or baguhin. So basically, motivation is directed toward from people to act. Yan lamang po. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Ako na po ba next? Yes. Ikaw ba yung sa reporter ng leadership? Yes po, ma'am. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. My name is Julius Villar, and I'm the one who will, who will report the leadership. At first, I will define what is the meaning of leadership. Leadership is an, act of, is an art of motivating group of people to act toward Achieving a common objective or goal. Yung sinasabi po dito, yung leadership po daw, siya daw po yung nag-motivate sa bawat member ng grupo para mag-motivate. So parang siya po yung, ano, yung nagbibigay po lakas or lakas po para ano, gawin yung mga bagay or siya po yung nag-lead sa mga member. Ano po. Yes. Leadership is not only to lead people but also to guide and inspire every member to work hard and always be confident. So yun nga po, sinabi po dito na yung leadership po daw, siya po yung, nag, hindi lang daw siya nag-lead sa bawat member, kundi siya din po yung nang-motivate para mag-continue po na mag-work hard and lagi pong maging confident sa bawat gagawin. Leader, leader or leadership has a big role in every group of people. So sa leadership po, hindi lang po siya basta-basta leader sa bawat group po, siya din po yung, ano, yung parang magiging reason po kung yung magiging result po ng, for example, dito po sa, sa Zoom. Pag yung leader po, wala pong gagawin, parang yung magiging result po ng Zoom is magiging negative po siya. So parang... Yung leader po, for example, kung, kung sino man po yung leader sa amin, siya po yung, ano, yung mag, may pinakamalaking role po para matapos or ma-achieve po namin yung goal namin ngayon, which is makapag-report. Yun lang po. Okay, very good. In order to become a leader, we must possess the good characteristic which we'll discuss later. So sinabi po dito na yung leader, yung leader po, kailangan po may mga good characteristic po siya na mapoposes sa, sa kanyang sarili para maging leader, para maging mabuti po siyang leader. So parang dito, pag magiging leader ka, kailangan makikita mo sa sarili mo na may characteristic ka na ma, ano po, madidiscuss po later pagkatapos ko po. Leadership is not just by simply lead people, they also need to become a good role model, role model in every member. Poor leadership will lead a whole group into failure and mistake. So parang gano'n na po, pag isa ka pong leader na kunyari po tamad, so yung mangyayari po sa grupo nyo or sa member nyo, magiging tamad din po siya. Gaya po nung sinabi ko, yung leader po, kailangan po mamotivate niya po yung bawat grupo para mag-work hard po 
and match yung goal. Yun lang po. Okay, very good. Ako na po sunod, ma'am. Qualities of a good leader. Number one. Okay na po, ma'am? Yes, mm-mm. Number one. A leader must possess energy. A lazy and weak person cannot be meaningful leader. The energy is not only physical energy but also mental energy as well as spiritual energy too. It means that the leader can control his or her thought, attitude, judgment to communicate properly to the other subordinates. Number two, emotional stability. This is important because it en- enables the leader to act with self-confidence. He avoided anger, resentment, fear, and other negative emotions and reactions. All this necessary so that he can able to lead the subordinates with understanding. It means that even though you have a problem, you need to control it so that your work does not affect and be more productive. Number three, the leader has a good knowledge of human relations. Human relations demand a good understanding of human behaviors and of constructive reactions to, the, to, to these behaviors. It means you need to be more observant and considerate to your subordinates to have a better communication. Number four, empathy. The leader has to put himself in this position of the subordinates. He must not take decisions solely at his own level. He must assess the impact of an impending decision on his followers. He has to talk at things objectively from the subordinates' point of view. It means that the leader should need to know what others' point of view before making decision in order to have a good relation to others. Number five, personal motivation. The leader wants to start something new. He has initiative. He has idea which he wants to put into practice. It means that the leader have a plan or actions to improve something or solve a problem properly. Number six, communication skill, which is ability to write and talk forcefully. The leader message is always clear and direct to the point. He uses other forms of nonverbal communication, such as smiles, gesticulations, among the other convey his message to the audience. It is very important because if you have good communication to your subordinates, you can build trust and improve productivity and creates better relationship. Number seven, teaching direct to the point, to the point of view ability which enables the leader develop and inspire his subordinates. It is a matter of good communication skills. If the leader tend to explain his or her teachings properly, then the subordinates gain the message or knowledge behind it. Number eight, social skill. This enables the leader to understand people and know their strengths and weaknesses. All this makes him to be friendly and approachable. A good engagement skill with other matters because this is where other people know and understand others' perspective. Number nine, technical skill, which provides him with an effective knowledge and insights of the work operations under his guidance and supervision. Technical skill provides advantage to a, to a leader for him to manage his duties as well as his sub, subordinates. Ayun lang po. Thank you. Okay na po, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. So, ang group members ay si Robaltine, si Villarin, Villar, Villanueva, Vistar, at Tolero. Okay, so yung group 2 naman. Okay, so, ayun, thank you group one. 
So, the next one is yung uh, group ni Maglasang, yung group 2. And they will discuss about motivation and the ways of looking at motivation. So, yun, di ba nga, uh, as, uh, according to the first group, mahalaga ang motivation. So, it will be discussed by um, the group of Manaraset, Munduerto, Miranda, Machas, and Maglasang. So, go ahead, group two. Hello, mic, okay. mic check. <laughs> Sound check. Rinig po ba? And, yes, right. rinig na. Right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is the group. Uh, this is our group named Groupings. <laughs> and our topic for today is about motivation. First things first, what is motivation? Uh, motivation is a reason for actions, willingness, and goals. Motivation is derived from the word motive or a need that requires satisfaction. These needs, wants, or desires may be acquired through influence of culture, society, lifestyle, or maybe generally innate. Motivation has been considered one of the most important reasons to move forward. And next. Uh, these are the ways of looking at motivation. The numbers one to six will be um, reported by Ms. Miranda. Number one, make a deal with yourself. Good for overcoming procrastination and getting things done. You can make the deal small or large. You simple tell yourself something like, when I'm done with his chapter, this reports. I can take a walk in the park and enjoy an ice cream. Uh, uh, Number two, ask a fifteen question in the morning. Here's what you do. Every morning, ask yourself five empowering, the part, the part question this way. What I am? What am I blank about in the life right, right now? What about it makes me blank? How does it make me feel? Put in your own value in the blank space. For instance, a couple of my questions are, what am I happy about in my life right now? What am I excited about in the life right now? It's important that you really feel how it makes you feel. When I think about the last part, about what makes me happy right now, I really feel it. This morning questions are great because the way they are set up makes you recognize things you take for granted, and then they really get you to feel those positive feelings. Number three, move the goal post. Set a large and a specific goal. This will motivate you much more than small goals. A big goal has a big effect and can create a lot of motivation. Number four, do something small and create a flow. Just clean your desk or pay your bills, or wash the dishes, just need to get it started. When you have finished the small task, you feel more alert. and ready to go, do the next thing. Started to get motivated. So if you really don't feel like doing anything, move your way out of. Number five. Do the toughest task first. This will ease a lot of your day-to-day -day worries and boost your self-confidence for the rest of the day. Number six, compare yourself with yourself, not with others. Comparing what you have and your soul to what other people have accomplished can really kill you, kill you motivation as it ups your self doubt. There are always people ahead ahead of you. Most likely, quite a bit of people, and a few of them are miles ahead. So focus on you, on your results, and how you can have improved them. Reviewing your results is important so you see where you have gone wrong 
in the past to avoid similar missteps further on. Thank you. Okay. And the number seven is remember your successes. It means that um, don't just um, consider the wrongs you've done or the um, flaws you've done in your past, but also consider your success so that you can um, balance your mindset, not just in the negative side, but also the positive. Number eight, remember, remember to have fun. Of course, if we motivate ourselves, we, um, we, may, we, may, we make fun of everything um, we see or we, we touch. Um, uh, and then so no, number eight, number nine, get out of your comfort zone. In motivating ourselves, um, <clears throat> there, there's also a lot of zones or areas in our lives that we are not comfortable. So we should get out of our comfort zone so we can also uh, motivate ourselves better. And then for number 10, focus on the positive. That's what I said um, earlier on the number uh, seven. We could focus on the positive and set aside our ne negative sides uh, to make the balance in our mindsets. And on the number 11, write down your goals and reasons for working towards them. Um, making a diary or journal makes us remember the things we've done uh, positively and the good things we've done. So we could remember the things and um, eventually we, there's a time, there's a chance that we could uh, forget about the good things we've done. So we could write it like a journal or diary. So we could, um, remind ourselves and for the number 12 make each day count it's like the time we should uh value the time because um in in valuing the time uh it's also a motivation for ourselves because we help ourselves not to waste it but to make it valuable that's it thank you Okay, thank you. Actually, I agree with um having your diaries. Ay, may ganyan ako eh. So every time na every new year, so I always uh, write down at least 10 ng goals ko. Tapos 'yon, meron akong um collection yan ng mga diaries. Ayan. Tapos every yun nga, every new year, uh ni sinusulat ko kung ano yung 10 goals ko for the year. Tapos, ang maganda dyan, minsan kahit hindi mo na siya pansinin, kahit i, i ano mo na siya, ibaon mo na siya sa, ano, ba, baol nyo. Pag binalikan mo siya, nakakatawa kasi, yung mga goals mo dati, na na-achieve mo na ngayon, di ba, nakakatawa. Mas, mas motivate ka pa. Kung baga parang, dati tinitigan mo lang yung bagay na yun, ngayon na-achieve mo na siya ngayon. So, yun. Better din na, pinuput nyo talaga in writing yung mga goals nyo, yung mga dreams nyo, ganyan. Kahit minsan imposible eh, kasi you'll never know. ba? Yun, isa rin yan sa bagandang motivation. Aside from um, goals, syempre, isa rin sa motivation natin yung family natin. Ayan. Baka tayo nag-work hard, baka tayo nag-aaral, syempre, para matuwa yung parents natin, kaya tayo nag-aaral lang mabuti. Syempre, iba yung iba yung magiging uh, saya or happiness na mararamdaman ng parents natin pag nakita nga na, na wala tayong bagsak, ganyan, na um, we're doing good in school, ganyan. So yun, aside from your family, syempre yourself, dapat alam mo kung ano yung gusto mong marating someday. So ngayon, dapat motivated ka to work, uh, to study hard, o yun, to submit your requirements on time yan and as well as taking 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 it seriously kumbaga pag nagsasagot ka ng exam dapat um seryoso pinag-aralan mo mabuti nag-review ka ayun 
Kasi may goal ka someday na gusto mo ng ganitong work, ganyan. So, yun. Okay, thank you for the group 2. So, next naman natin yung group 3. Yung group nila bulahan. So, you're going to discuss about the characteristic of individual and the types of reinforcement. Okay, so for the characteristic of individual and types of reinforcement, this will be discussed by the group of uh, Jocelyn Cabucos, Bulahan, um, Mary Joy Castro and Rizalyn Castro and Micheline B. Cruz. Yan. Okay na po, ma'am. Yes, okay na. Okay po. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, classmate. Our topic for today is the characteristic of the individual and types of reinforcement. Um, Trisha Bulahan will be referred the characteristic of the individual. Um, hello. Um, good morning, everyone. So... Each individual brings his or, or her own interests, attitudes, and needs to the workstation. Hierarchy of human needs. Uh, sa, lahat ng sa lahat ng theory of motivation, kay Maslow na theory ang napababay sa organizational environment. One of the reasons for this is, hindi lang sa human needs nagpo-focus ang theory ni Maslow. Pwede rin siya sa pagmamanage ng human behavior na pwede sa organization. Uh, so, ma so, makikita natin dito, may limang stages sa uh, binigay si Maslow sa human motivation niya. Yung una, psychological need, which include the need for air, water, food, and sex. Security, net, uh, security need, which include the need for safety, order, and freedom from fear or threat. Belongingness and love, or social needs, which include the need for love, affection, feelings of belonging, and human contact. Esteem needs, which include the need for self-respect, self-esteem, achievement, and respect from others. The need for self-actualization, which includes the need to grow, to feel self-fulfilled, to realize one's potential. Ah, Ma'am, next po. Okay. So, uh, yun nga, yun nga yung according kay Maslow na na mamotivate yung yung isang tao kapag na-fulfill nila yung hierarchy stage. Pero kailangan muna nilang masatisfied bago sila lumipat sa next stage of hierarchy. For example po, Uh, may isang employee na naghanap ng work. Siyempre po, maghahanap siya ng workplace na makakabuti sa kanya. Kaya mag-review mag siya kung may safety ba na kinokonduct ng job security sa workplace. Tapos kung may freedom ba siya uh, tumanggi sa mga decision, decisions na hindi naman, di naman nakabase sa reason or judgment. Kung di sa personal will ng isang tao or hindi regarding sa rules at standards sa workplace. Kapag may ganun siyang nanap, syempre mag a siya yun. Tapos doon na mamimet yung hierarchy ni Maslow. Syempre, mamotivate ang mga employee at doon papasok ang self-actualization. Mag-grow mag yung employee sa workplace at malalabas niya din or may improve ang kanilang mga potential. So, so pag, pag ganun, ah, uh, doon na po mamimit yung five stages ni ni Maslow. Tapos yung isa naman po, para po kay Douglas MacGregor. Related po siya sa Maslow hierarchy sa management of work groups. Sa kanya naman po, uh, pinapoint out niya na mga managers daw ay 
tinatawag na unfriendly at nakakasira sa company yung mga informal group works. Kaya minsan, yung mga employees na hindi naman kataasan ang ang role sa work groups or sa company nila, hindi nila masasil yung belongingness nila sa workplace. Kaya minsan, hindi sila na motivate na magko-contribute pa ng madaming achievement sa organi- organization's goals. Yan lang po. Asunod po si Jaisel po. Siya po magre-report ng types of reinforcement. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, types of reinforcement. Meron po tayong apat na types ng reinforcement. Ang nauna po is positive reinforcement. Ang ibig sabihin po ng positive reinforcement, ito po yung nagbibigay ng reward para mas gawing maayos at mas mapabuti pa ito. Tapos meron naman din po siyang primary and secondary. The primary reinforcers, ito yung important to an organism, katulad ng mga pagkain, tubig, pagtulog, bahay at iba pa. Sa so secondary reinforcers naman po, ito naman yung used to acquire primary reinforcers, katulad ng mga money, verbal phrase, highly, highly preferred activities and toys. Sa so pangalawa naman po, avoidance learning. Kung meron pong positive, syempre meron din po tayong negative reinforcement. Ito yung avoidance learning. Ito yung process kung saan an individual learns a behavior o nagre-respond para maiwasan ang stressful or unpleasant situation. Sa extent, extension naman po, um, et, ito yung gradual weakening na nagre-respond sa resulta ng behavior na kung magdi-decreasing or disappearing or eventually to stops. Tapos po sa pinakalas ang punishment. Punishment, ito yung mga manager ang nagbibigay ng punishment para mabago ang behavior ng mga nagtatrabaho para din mas maging maayos ang kanilang mga ginagawa. Para mas mag- maging maayos po ang kanilang ginagawa kung paano yung pagiging ano ng manager para sila po yung magagabay sa mga nagtatrabaho. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the group um group 3. Tama ba? Group 2 yan. Group nila Bulahan. So, yun. Uh, diniscuss nila yung hierarchy of Maslow. So, yun nga. Kung meron kayong goal, ayun. Pwede nyo rin i-check tong hierarchy of Maslow. Siyempre, normally, pag mga ganyang, mga ganyang age or sa generation natin, yung mga nasa, nasa baba pa lang tayo eh. Yung yung pinaka first yung physiological need. Yan. Syempre, uh, we need air, water, food. Yan. So, yun nga pag nagka-work din tayo, ayan, nagko-work tayo. Pwede na tayong pumasok sa security need. Dito rin papasok yung mga ano, um, financial freedom. Ayun, pwede na tayong makapag-provide ng sarili nating bahay. Ayun, syempre dahil estudyante pa lang tayo, nasa actually nasa physiological need pa lang tayo. Ayan, kailangan, ang kailangan pa lang natin ay air, water, and food. Tapos pag nakagraduate na kayo, yan pa din na kayong pumasok sa security need. Siyempre, nakakabili na kayo ng, ng bahay eh. Tapos meron na kayong um, pera, meron na kayong, kumbaga may, meron na kayong rights para bumili ng mga sarili nyong gamit. Or wala, hindi na kayo umaasa sa parents nyo. Ayan, siyempre, after nyo rin, um, after nyo mag-work, Ayan, syempre, saka tayo papasok sa belongingness and love. Ayan, syempre, di ba, bago tayo pumasok sa mga ganyang um, uh, sitwasyon, make sure na dapat, ano tayo, tapos tayo sa pag-aaral. Ayan. Kaya ito rin yung mga dapat nung sundin. Ganun. Pero, binsan kasi, um, ano eh, nalalaktawan tong, ano eh, uh, security need ng mga tao. Parang after na physiological need, maraming mga tao na lumalaktaw sa belongingness and love. Tsaka sila pupunta ng security need. Ayun. So, depende yan sa discard nyo sa buhay. Yan, kung ano yung gusto nyong unahin. Ayun. Pero dapat physiological need, security need, and belongingness and love. Siyempre, pag ano na, feel mo, belong ka na, mabuboost yung ano natin, yung self-esteem natin. Especially, kung, kung graduate ka na, tapos meron ka ng Uh, kumikita ka na ng pera, tapos may nagmamahal pa sa'yo. So, tataas yung self-esteem natin, di ba? Ayan. So, syempre, pag meron ka na respect 
sa sarili mo, meron ka ng um, self-esteem, confidence, meron ka ng ability to share what you have. Yan. Siyempre, kung yan, kung meron ka ng um, knowledge, ganyan, um, papasok ka tayo dito sa self-actualization. Ito na yung time na sinishare mo na yung mga meron ka sa buhay. Yan. Meron kang marami kang pera, sinishare mo na. Meron kang mga ideas and knowledge na sinishare mo sa mga mga bata. Ayan. Nandyan ka na sa part na yan. Yan. Okay. So, yon May questions ba sa group 3? So, pwede na tayo mag-proceed sa group Four. So yun, mini-message ko yung mga leaders nyo na mag, ano, na mag-sansa ka ng ratings ng per member. Yan. So, 1 to 10. 10 as the highest. 1 yung lowest. Yan. So, i-rate nyo lang yung members nyo. Kasi kasama rin to sa, sa ano nyo eh, sa, sa score. Okay. So, group na ni Escasinas. Group 4. So, ang topic nila... Leadership Theories and the Function. Okay, pwede na kayong mag-start for the group of Escasinas. So, sino-sino ito? Escasinas. Ay, and dito ba yung group ni Escasinas? Ano to eh, si Gagadino, Lopez, Maghanoy, tsaka si Mahinay. Ayun. Ito, present sila. Good day, everyone. Ma'am, rinig ko ba ako? Oo, oh, oh, rinig naman. Sabi niyo mo, Bill. Hello? Ma'am, rinig ko ba ako? Mm-mm. Sige. Ma'am, Sige. Lesa, labas mo kasi ako, ma'am. Eh. Pasensya na po sa maingay po. Okay lang. Mm -mm. Good day, everyone. And good day, ma'am Crystal. Today, 
of today, our group will discuss about leadership theories and leadership functions. And now, let's proceed to leadership theories. What is leadership theory? So what is leadership theory? Leadership emphasizes the traits and behaviors that individuals can adopt to boost their own leadership abilities. Basically, we have five major leadership theories. Trait theory, contingency theory, situational theory, and behavior. And let me discuss all these theories. And let's begin in the great man theory. According to the great man theory, leaders are born with the right traits and skills for leading. They have charisma, intellect, confidence in communications and social skills. This theory also suggests that the ability to lead is inherent and the best leader. The term great man was adopted at the time because leadership was reserved for males such as military leadership. The next theory is the trait theory. This theory basically comes with an interfering personality traits of a leader. People are born with certain characteristics of a leader. Their intelligence level of energy and activity, task relevance, knowledge, and so on. Next, we have contingency theory. This theory suggests that great leadership is the combination of key variables. It also suggests that leaders should all ship to the respective situation by adding variables, such as type of task, nature, follower, and more. And according to this theory, situational leader is one who can quickly change leadership style as the situation changes. The best action of leader depends on a range of situational factors. The last theory is behavioral theory. It focuses on specific behaviors and action of leaders. It also suggests that the individual needs a three basic skills to lead their followers. There are technical skill, human skill, and conceptual skill. In technical skills, leaders' knowledge of the process and technique. Human skill is to able to interact with others and to come up with ideas for running the organization or society smoothly. It's the leadership function. Let Ms. Gagarino Piona take the floor to discuss it. Ms. Gagarino. Ten functional leadership characteristics. Number one, priority on needs. The basic notion of functional leadership is that any group will have three primary needs. The needs of the task, the needs of the team, the needs of individuals who make up the team. Two, focus on actions. The functional leadership theory has been developed after studying the behaviors of successful leaders and identifying the particular actions that 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 led to successful result, results. Here, the 
focus is more on what the leader does on who the leader is. Three, result-oriented in function leadership. What matters is whether things get done. Four, flexible re leadership role. The functional leadership approach maintains that it is not necessary for a group to have only one particular member who performs all the leadership functions. Five, clear understanding of individual responsibilities. Under the functional leadership style, where the actions of each individual matter, it is of vital importance that each member knows exactly how, how he or she contributes to the group to the group to achieve its goal, goals. Six, organizing. In order for the group to effectively perform their task, the functional leader must ensure that the group is properly organized. Seven, motivation. The functional leader must ensure that every individual in the group feels sufficiently appreciated for their efforts and actions. Eight, controlling. Function, functional leadership involves a great de deal of controlling exactly what happens in the team. Nine, setting an example, people tend to observe their leaders and emulate their behaviors. 10, guidance, team members want to know how, how they are doing and whether they need to change anything. Thank you for listening. Okay. So actually, medyo same to dun sa diniscuss natin last um, quarter, yung mga theories. So yun din yun, parang halos. Okay, so yung next group naman ay group nila Malveta. So thank you group for group of Escasinas. So yung next naman natin ay yung group ni Malveta. Wait lang ah. Group nila Malveda and um, ready na rin yung group nila uh, Hipolito. And so for the group of uh, Malveda, uh, they're going to discuss leadership style and leadership development. Okay. So for Malveda, um, Montano Morales, More, and Pacaro. Wait lang ha. Ano muna tayo? Five minutes break muna tayo. Five minutes break since 11 naman na.
Okay, for the group of Malbeda, ready na ba kayo? Andiyan na ba kayo? So, for the group of Malbeda, so Malbeda, Montano, Julia, Morales, Rochelle, and More, and uh, Charissa Pacaro. Hello, ma'am. Nindig niya po. Yes, nindig naman. Okay po. Good morning, everyone. Our topic is about leadership development and leadership style. Leadership development will be reported by... Um, Morales po. Morales? Good morning, ma'am. Rinig po ako. Morales? Nandiyan ba siya? Good morning po. Rinig po ako. Hindi naman siya ha. Yes, naririnig ka namin, Morales, pero medyo mahina. Ayun. Medyo ilapit ko siguro yung, ano, yung mic. Ito pa. Um, Palagay ko sa leadership pa. development. Ay, ayan. Paano po sa leadership development po? Ah, okay. Sige, sige. Sorry, ayan na. Leadership development. The first two activities that improve the skills, abilities, and confidence of leaders. Programs vary massively and in complexity, cost, and style of teaching. Coaching and mentoring are two forms of development often used to guide and develop. Yung leadership development po, tumutukoy po siya sa activities na nakapag-improve ng skills, abilities, and confidence ng leaders. Programs must introduce modification or changes into something so as to make it different or less form. There are two forms of development na mas ginagamit para i-guide and i-develop yung leader. Ito po yung coaching and mentoring. Leadership style na ba? Opo. Okay. Hi, ma'am. Sorry po, nag-connecting po. Okay lang. Okay po. Number one is autocratic style. Believes that he or she is the smartest person at the table and knows more than others. They make all the decisions with util input from the team members. Um, ito yung ano, klase ng style na crucial decision sa made on the spot na ginagawa yung decision. And ito yung ano, leader na bumabase siya mismo sa result ng ginawa nyo. Next is authoritative style, also known as visionary. They mark as confident leaders who map the way and set expectations while engaging and energizing followers along the way. Ito yung klase ng ano, leadership na Nagtitake sila ng time para i-explain sa members nila kung ano yung naiisip nila bago sila gumawa ng orders para sa lahat. Next is pace setting style. A very driven leader who sets the pace in racing. They set the bar high and push their team members to run hard and fast to the finish line. Effective in getting things done and driving the result as a style that can hurt them. Most employees may become stressed working under this style or of leadership in the long run. 
Ito yung klase ng style na kailangan may fast results. Tsaka yung leader na ito, nagsiset siya ng high standards para sa mga members niya. Accountable din siya for hitting their goal. goals. Pala. Sorry. Um, democratic style. They share information with employees about anything that affects their work responsibilities. They seek employees' opinions before approving a final decision. Ito yung klase ng style na mostly lahat tayo ginagamit to. Yung magtatanong ka muna sa mga members mo, then mag agree pag nag-agree na kayo lahat, yun yung, gagami, yun yung gagawin nyo. Kumbaga, ano, <laughs> uh, nag sila ng feedback par bago mag ng decision. Then next is coaching style. A leader who coaches views people as a deserver or talent develop. A coach approach seeks to unlock people's potential. Inalak nila yung talents nyo. Yung ganun silang mga leader. They believe that everyone has power within themselves. So, nare-recognize sila yung team, na, yung team members na yung strength ng team members nila. And nagbibigay sila ng motivations. Affiliative style. The leader gets up and close personal with people. Practicing this style pays a lot of attention and supports the emotional needs of team members. This style is all about encouraging harmony and performing collaborative relationships within teams. Particularly useful for smoothing conflicts and among team or reassuring people during times of stress. The last one is leisure fair style. Opposite of autocratic style. Involves at least a least amount of oversight. You could say that the autocratic style stands as the firm of rock and issues, while the lazy fair leader lets people swim with the accurate. May appear to trust people to know what to do, but taken to the extreme, you uninvolved leader may end up appearing aloof. Yung ganitong leader, hindi sila, sila yung tipo ng leader na hindi masyado nagbibigay ng attention sa inyo. Kumbaga, pinapagawa na nila sa inyo lahat, tapos titingin lang sila ng onte Then, meron din silang high standards kagaya nung ano. Ng authoritative style. Ang focus nila is mostly providing a little of supervision. And that's all. Thank you po. Okay. That's all for, ano no, for group of Malbeda. Okay. So yon. Thank you for the group of Ayun, sinang leader niya si More ba? Or si Pacaro? Okay. So yon, um before we proceed to the last group, yung group nila Hipolito. Um, yun, uh, nag, nag-DM ako or nag-direct message ako sa mga leaders to rate your groupmates. Kahit nito nasa, ano, sa Zoom. Ayun, i-direct message nyo ako yung, um, 1 to 10. 10 as the highest, yung 1 as the lowest. Ayun. So, yung, ang hiniti ko na lang yung kailag Malveda. Tama ba? Ay, kailag Escasinas and then Malveda. Ayun. Uh, please send me your rates. And then, for the last group for today, group nila Hipolito. Ayan, thanks for the group 5. Ready na ba ang ano, group ni Hipolito? Yes po. Okay, sige, wait lang. Iyan na natin yung power of it. Okay. And also, yung ano nyo, yung um, questions nyo, at least three questions per group. Um, as much as possible, um, multiple choice. Yun, pakisend na lang sa akin sa messenger. 
Okay. So, um, for the group of Hipolito, ayan, si Lamoste, Lamba, Hipolito, Lugnasin, and Javier. Ayan. So, they're going to discuss communication and communication processes or process. So, ready na ba? Hello, classmates. Uh, good morning. Mampa, ano po sa next slide? Okay. Communication is the systematic planning, implementing, monitoring, and revision of all the channels of communication. Within, within, within an organization and within organizations. It is also include the organization and dissemination of new communication directive, communication directives connected with an organization, network, network of network or communication technology. Aspects of communication management include developing corporate communication strategies, designing, designing, designing internal and external communication, communications directives, and managing the flow of information, including online communication. It is a mere process of that, that helps, that helps an organization to be systematic as one, within the bounds of communication. Next na po si Hana. Okay. So, hello po ma'am. Hello. Uh, communication process some would say that the communication process may seem simple where an individual sends a message and someone would receive it the communication process describes how a message is delivered and received when looking at communication as a process then one must look into its elements. Berlin's model of communication, 1961, is one good example to describe the process since the model elucidates the commonly used elements such as the source, receiver, message, channel, and feedback. As Onkeiko and Floor pointed out, a basic understanding of the communication process is important to achieve the highest social good in its application. The receiver, according to Berlo, is the target of communication, where he or she listens when the source communicates verbally or non-verbally. The message is the transmitted idea, purpose, or intention that has been translated into a code or a systematic set of symbols from the source. Berlo identified three factors of a message which in include message code, message content, and message treatment. So these definitions of communication process show that communication involves exchange of thoughts between two parties. Thank you. Okay. So thank you, Donna, with the communication and, and communication process. Ayan, so for better understanding, check nyo lang tong ano, itong image. Ayan, actually paano pinag na rin ko during high school, kung paano, um, kung paano dumadaloy ang information from the uh, 
source to receiver. Ayan. Okay. So normally ayon ah uh, dagdag lang ako ng ano ng 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 knowledge. Pag nasa work tayo, ayan. So paano nag dumadalo yung information? So normally dapat ang subordinate nagre-report lang kay supervisor, 'di ba? May hierarchy 'yan. Yung mga subordinates or yung mga employees and then um supervisor or yung team leader and then manager. Tapos mga vice president, and then president. Yun. Normally, ganun yung mga positions in the company. Sa ibang company naman, meron pang mga senior yan. Kung nga, um, mga associate, mga senior, tapos mga supervisor, junior supervisor, senior supervisor, ganyan. So, di ba may mga hierarchy yan, or mga levels. So, yung, normally, yung communication nila from the employee yan, normally nagre-report sa senior niya or sa supervisor. Ayun, depende sa um, hierarchy. Kung nga sa company natin, ang meron lang tayo, yung employee, supervisor, manager, vice president, and then the president or the CEO. Yung employee, pag meron siyang mga concerns, meron siyang mga queries, nagre-report muna yan sa supervisor. And then, um, sa supervisor, nagre-report naman siya sa ano niya, sa manager niya. So, si employee, hindi naman siya pwedeng directly mag-report kay manager. So, normally, as a sign of respect, lahat ng information, dinadaan muna natin kay supervisor. Tapos, saka tayo dadaan kay manager. Ayun, kunyari kung yung mga queries nyo or yung mga questions nyo or your problem na na-encounter nyo sa sa ano niya, sa um office nyo or sa work nyo, eh kailangan ng assistance ni manager tsaka papasok si manager. So, normally, pag employee ka, supervisor lang muna. Yan. So, yun na, yun na rin, as a part of, parang as a sign of respect sa mga um, boss natin or sa mga leaders natin. Yan. Susundan, na, susundan natin yung mga hierarchy sa employees. Hindi tayo pwedeng kung nga, may reklamo tayo, dadaretso agad tayo sa president. So, normally, pag may mga problems tayo sa work natin, ayan, um, dapat inaayos muna natin yung problem na yun with the help of our supervisor. Saka tayo papasok kay manager. Kung nga yung problema na hindi kayang ayusin ni supervisor at kailangan ng assistance ng mga top management. Saka papasok kay top management. Hindi dapat um, dederecho agad tayo sa kaitaas-taasan. Okay? So, ganun yun yun yung normally na communication flow sa workstation. So yun, may mga instruction naman yan pag nag-work na kayo. Ganun siya. So yun. Katulad din dito, um, kunyari, uh, di ba dun sa binigay ko sa inyong activity, si member may mga problems, ganyan. So yung problems niya, pwede niya munang i-consult kay leader. And then si leader, sa kanya ipapa-consult sa akin or ipapa-approve ganyan. Ayan, hindi pa ding kay kay ano, kay member and then hindi diretso agad sa akin. Unless nag ano ako, nag ano ako, nag-extend ako ng help or nag um nag-open ako na may mga informations na direct sa akin. So normally ganyan. So ini-exercise natin yung um yung process ng communication natin. So, yun, pag-member kay leader muna, tapos si leader sa akin. Yun. So, pag, pero pag may, ano ako, may mga instruction na ako na, kung nga, for example, mga hindi papasok, ganyan. So, send lang ng screenshot, ganun. So, yun. Siyempre, as, as a sign of respect din sa mga leaders nyo, siyempre, leader nyo yan eh. Yan. Dapat lahat alam ni, ano, lahat ng nangyayari alam ni, ni leader. Okay? So, ano na ba? Tapos na ba tayo? Ayan, group 6. So, ayun, tapos na tayo for today. Ayan, natapos natin yung group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Ayan. So, yun na. na ano naman, na-achieve naman natin na hindi tayo lalagpas ng 12. So, 11.30 pa nang natapos na tayo. So, yun, for the next group naman, next week, yan. So, group ni Darlo, ni Bacolando, ni Anduque, 
Domingo, Kilapillo, and Pablo. Tama ba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Okay. So yon, may mga questions ba? So yon, uh, for the group of Hipolito, yan lang, uh, mag-DM lang sa akin ng rate ng ka-group mates mo. So yun na lang, kayo na lang hinihintay ko, yung group ni Lamoste. So yun, the rest of the group nakapagbigay na sila ng rate. So, syempre, meron silang mga basis kung bakit sila nagbigay ng ng mga 6, ng 8, or 10, or meron pa nga nagbigay ng wala. So yon acceptable yon lalo na pag hindi talaga nagpaparamdam sa leader or wala talagang ginawa or nag-extend ng help pero hindi talaga. So pwede kayo magbigay ng um ng 1 or 0 lalo na pag wala talagang paramdam. Okay, so may mga basis naman yung mga rates. So may mga questions ba for the next group? May mga questions ba sa mga reporters? And sa grade them. Ayan. So, yun. Uh, sa mga nag-email sa akin, magsisend ako later after ng klase. May mga questions ba? Ayan. Also, yung mga three questions. Pa, i- ano na lang ako, pag pasabit na lang ako sa um, sa messenger. Ayan. For the group 1 to 6, yung mula kay uh, group ni Ting, ni Maglasa, ni Bulahan, S. Casinas, Malvela, and Nebol dito. Yung uh, three questions and answers. Multiple choice, at least three. Okay, so wala na mga questions. I guess that's all for today. Yan. Successful naman tayo today. So, lahat naman nakapag-report. So, very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. See you next week. Yan. So, bukas naman for the ABM. Ayan. Mag, uh, please, um, mag have your, ano, um, bring your notes with you. Kasi magde-debit credit na tayo bukas. Please be present bukas para hindi hindi naliligaw. Okay? Kasi magde-debit credit na tayo bukas. Okay. So, thank you everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you po, ma'am.